Good evening, guys. Sammy the Bull here. And coming from my kitchen about midnight. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's later than that. Hold on a minute. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, midnight. It's only 1.45, and I got to be up at 5 o'clock for the 6 o'clock live stream. <laughs> but I wanted to get a little video because guess what? I got in the mail today. Yep. Another card submitted by PSA. What's it going to be? Hmm. The last video I, I, I downloaded to you guys, it was a beautiful 1969 Tops number 20, 120, PSA 7 near mint, Pete Rose, with beautiful, beautiful centering. Double authenticated, that's the second barcode. And also with that was the beautiful Beckett BGS 7.5 near mint plus Joe Montana rookie card. Look at that. Montana rookie card right up there next to the Jordan rookie. You guys seen them cards before. That Jordan rookie is worth thousands. Thousands. Yeah, and more more than four thousand. Now we're gonna go ahead and see what we got here. I had to use the scissors to open it because what happens is when you buy certain cards that are easily faked, they have to send they have to uh, the uh, the owner of the card has to submit it. And send it to a second uh, a second authenticator through YouTube. I mean through eBay, and then eBay goes ahead and does this. They encapsulate it into one of these beautiful things, like you saw the Jordan. Let's see the reveal, guys. I can tell you a little hint. This is a card from 1964. It is the Cold Cup All Star Rookie Card. Of someone very special. It is not their first rookie card, but it is the second, it's considered their second year card, but it has the Gold Cup rookie card on it. Okay, we go ahead and peel that back. Here we go. You ready? Nineteen sixty four, there it is. It's a nineteen sixty four card number one twenty five. Boom, look at that. That is a sixty four tops Pete Rose second year card, all star rookie cup card. Pete Rose second year in a four VG excellent condition. Graded by SGC. And, it, and you know what, guys? It is a clean four. Take a look at the corners. Well, we got to take it out of that to really, to really appreciate it, right? There's the double authentication hologram. You do not open that. It's void if tampered, if damaged. It says it on there. Void if damaged. Beautiful centering on the back of that card, guys. In 64 and the 60s, tops had terrible quality control. You can go ahead and, and, and scan this QR code through eBay, and you'll see a picture of this card and the authentication. It's all on a database. Beautiful centering, guys. I, that's what I look for. I look for eye appeal. It doesn't have to be a 7 or 8. This card in a 9 would be worth about twelve to $15,000, maybe more, maybe $20,000. This card in a 7 sells for about 1800 And it's hard to find them, you know. And even if I were to get this in a 5, it would still be over a $1,000 card. It's just crazy. I was able to get a pretty good deal on a four. And I and the main thing I looked at was the centering was so clean. Nice and cut. That is a 50-50 centering from left to right. And I call that a 45 to 55 centering from top to bottom. The back 
I would say the back is a 45 to 55 centering left to right. And maybe a 50-50 from top to bottom. It's hard to say because that top to bottom is the cards left to right from here. So I think that's a 50-50 on the back too. Beautiful centering. Beautiful color. Not a single print dot. Not a single crease. Not a single frayed corner. Beautiful card. Of the Hit King. Pete Rose. Yeah. Just another little card I wanted to share with you as we add that to the collection. Pete Rose, 1960, this is 1963, Gold Cup All-Star Rookie. It technically, officially, his second year card. If you want to see his rookie card, now this I don't have submitted, unfortunately, because right now PSA is about seven to eight months behind on submissions. I don't feel like sending a card away for eight months. Do you know what I mean? And right now they're charging a fortune. So I have I have it in here. Unfortunately, it's raw. This is the in 63. They had to share the card, guys. That is Pete Rose Rookies card. Again, it is a clean cut card. It's a beautiful card. It's clean. It's very, very nice condition. I think this would grade at probably a 6, um, may, maybe a 6.5. But uh, I don't feel like waiting eight months to get it. And uh, I'm going to wait until maybe the prices go down a little bit because they're charging like freaking ridiculous prices for grading for PSA. That's his rookie. Here's a nice 19, uh, 1979 Terry Bradshaw. You know, just some cards I had mixing around. Here's another one from 1970, batting leaders. But look who's on with them. Roberto Clemente. Man, he died right after this, guys. Roberto died in 71. This is one of his last cards he ever had. It's not his last card. It's one of his last cards. And then I just got some Bryce Harper, a bunch of Bryce Harper cards, a 79 Carlton, just some Bryce Harper cards when he first came to the Phillies. You know, just some stuff like that. And uh, where's that Rose rookie? Yeah, we keep that on top. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get it. I'll get it submitted and certified and graded, but and then it can go and join all the rest of the stuff. You know, I had a I had a huge collection at one time, and when my mom died and we cleaned out our properties, you know, I kept some stuff that's in storage, but I sold a lot of it on eBay, and I'm slowly now building up another private collection, and I always loved this card because it's the it's Pete Rose's first card where he's the only one on the card. You know, I don't like the rookie card, except for that it's worth a lot more money. You know, uh, this card in this condition is worth about 475 to 500 hours. And the Pete Rose card raw in that condition is worth about 12 to 1300 hours. If it gets submitted and it comes back at a six, it'll be worth about 2800 to three grand. That's what a difference it makes on getting them graded. Now, if it came back at a three or four, then it's probably worth about eighteen hundred, maybe, you know, maybe two grand. It all depends. But anyway, thanks, guys. That is our card of the day. Peace and love. See you in about five hours on the live stream. Yeah. Good night, guys.